Hi, Dita Irvin here, and in this video I will show you how to add an affiliate banner ad under the header of your blog. For this demonstration, I will use my demo blog, Dita Help Me. Now, whenever I add banners to my site, I always first copy the banner to my computer, and then I upload the banner into a draft post on my blog. I call this post Banners and I keep this draft post for all my future banner ads and I recommend that you should too. Then after I upload the banner into the banner post I adjust the banner and when the banner is completed I copy it wherever I want to copy it to. So let me show you all the steps now. So first I open up my banners post. Then I go to the affiliate page where the banners ads are and I select the banner that I want. So in this case I want the large banner that will go under the header. So I select the banner just by clicking on it and then I right click on it and I click on save image as. And I will save this image into my computer. So I just wanted to mention that if you have a banner that is uh, flashing like this rather than a static banner, make sure that you save it in your computer as a GIF, G-I-F file. If you don't have anything flashing on the banner, you can uh, save it as a JPEG or PNG file. So I'm back in my post and in your post make sure that you enter the name of the banner you're going to work with just to have an indication what banners you have in your post in case you are going to be uploading more than one banner. So I will just call it a header banner. Now place the cursor below the title and then click on Add Media. And in the media, uh, click on Upload Files and click on Select Files. In your computer, locate the folder where the file is saved or where the image is saved. So we know it's here and I'll click on this image. Then click on the image and just click on open on your computer or save to whatever your computer tells you to do. And that will upload it to your media. And in your media make sure that uh, the image is aligned in the center. So just click on that and you can uh, fill out the alt text uh, so I can say banner add and then click on insert into post. So once your image is uploaded, click on the image and then insert a link to it. And you will be inserting here an affiliate link. So I will do that and make sure that you open the link in a new window. So click on that and add a link. Now you will have to do a couple of adjustments to this banner, but we can do that only in the text editor where we will see the HTML code of the banner ad. So click on text and here you will see the HTML of your banner ad. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to make this link a no follow link. What it means is that you don't want search engines follow this affiliate link because if you do that and you have uh, more affiliate links uh, on your blog you're going to lose a lot of link juice and also the search engines may consider your blog spammy. So uh, we're going to add a no follow tag to this link to prevent the search engines from following this link. So to make this link no follow, we're just going to add a little bit of code right in this spot. But first, we'll add a little space there. 
I already have the tag in my notepad so I'm going to just show you here and this is the tag that we want to add in that spot where I showed you in our HTML okay so I'll copy it so it is rel equals quotation mark no follow and closed by an other quotation mark so I'll copy that and I'll add it in this spot here and that's all that is to it and now this link is a nofollow link so before we can uh, place this link under the header we'll have to add a couple more tags and we'll add one tag just above here and again uh, I'll go back to my notepad and what we're going to add is div ID equals quotation mark adds quotation mark so we'll copy that and place it right above the HTML of our banner ad and then on the bottom we'll close it up and we can even add a space here just in case and we'll save the draft because now our link is ready to be placed under the header now I'll copy the link uh, and place it in my notepad and uh, once I'm done uh, copying it I will show you how to add it uh, under the header So there we go. To place this code under the header, we'll have to work in the editor of your theme. And the theme I'm working with is just the default WordPress theme 2012, because I like to work with it. But you can add this code to any theme you have. When I'm done with this, I'll show you how to add it to another theme, just to show you that it is possible to do it in other themes as well. So in order to add this code, we'll have to click on Appearance, and then I'll click on Editor. So here we are in the Editor, and now let's say that I want this ad to show under the header above every post. So in uh, 2012, I'll go to single post and actually that would be true for every theme. I'll go to single post, click on it and open up the editor. And in the editor, I want to place it under the header and above this code, which tells the system that that's where the posts are going to start. So I'll make sure there is a space in here. And I'll go to my uh, notepad and copy the code. And I'll paste the code here and now I will update the editor. So now we can go and see how it looks on the site. So uh, let's uh, click on this and open it up in new window. And as you can see on the home page, we don't have it. But when I, I'll click on this uh, post, you can see that the image is right under the header. So here's your affiliate banner above the post under the header on your blog. Okay, so now let's see how we can uh, put this banner ad on the home page and across the whole site. So as you can see, there is nothing on the home page. And so we'll go into the editor again. And this time, what you want to find is the main index template. So here is the main uh, site content 
And so what we want to do is, again, we want to copy the code or the HTML of the banner ad, and we'll just place it above this code here. So I'll just click on it here, add the code, and I will once again update the file. And now when we'll go into the site and open it in a new window, here we are. And as you can see, now the banner ad is under the header. So if you put the banner ad in the index, then of course you don't have to put the banner ad anymore in the post uh, PHP or page PHP because it will show across the whole site. But if you don't want it to show on your home page and you only want to show, uh, show the ad in the posts or the pages, then you go to the post, single post PHP or page PHP and add the code into the editor. So now let me show you how to add this banner ad to a different theme. And I will add it to a theme called Canvas. So here is uh, the theme Canvas and here is a post and as you can see there is no ad underneath it. So let me put the ad underneath the header. So in appearance, we'll click on the editor again. And uh, when we get there, I'll scroll down to single post PHP because that's where I want to add the add to. So it's single post PHP. And although it looks very similar to the 2012 single post PHP, there are a few differences. As you notice, in addition to this uh, code here, we also have a code uh, like this, content starts, and this is all related to the Woo themes. But it doesn't matter, we're still going to add the code underneath the header. So what I'll do is I'll copy the code and then I'll paste this code underneath this code, the, uh, the end of the header code. So I'll just paste it here. And then I will update the file, the editor file. And now when I'll visit the site, I will not have the ad underneath the header on the home page because if you remember I placed it in the single post PHP. So here we go. Let's click on the post and see if it shows on the posts. And as you can see there is the ad underneath the header on a single post. So as you can see there is not much difference between different themes. It was uh, similar to add this ad under the header in Canvas theme or uh, the 2012 theme. So you can uh, definitely try it on your theme without any trepidation. It's going to be just as simple as how I showed it to you in this demonstration. So the last thing I want to tell you is that because you're adding this ad under the header in the editor of your site, when your theme is updated, of course the editor is going to change as well. So you may have to then add this ad again into the editor after each update of your theme. But luckily, you know, themes do not update very often, so that's okay. So always make sure you, you save a copy of this ad in your notepad and whenever you need it, just go back into the editor and add it in the place uh, where you want it, whether it is for the whole site or whether, whether it is just for the post or a page. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, it's not very difficult to add this code, so don't be afraid. Uh, just as a reminder, every time you add something to your editor, make sure that before you add anything, you copy the editor 
into your notepad or that particular part of the editor into the notepad just to be on the safe side. So once again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you at the next video.